karma. Sussex has got another headache after Japanese fans condemn rude act toward royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have shocked Japanese royal fans, according to a royal expert. Royal fans in Japan have been left in disbelief by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's rude behavior, royal expert Angela Levin has said. Ms. Levin has claimed that people from the East Asia country are especially interested in the Sussexes as they are shocked with their behavior. Ms. Levin wrote in a Substack newsletter, Japan is fascinated by our royal family. Every few weeks I am asked by one of their TV channels to update them on what is happening in the UK. Their key interest at the moment is Harry and Meghan and who can blame them. They can't quite believe their behavior towards the senior royals is so, well, rude. No one would behave like that to their royal family, they tell me. Harry and Meghan stepped away from being working members of the royal family last year and relocated to California where they now live with their two children, Archie, two, and newborn Lilibet. This move shocked many royal fans around the globe as they now see the royal couple taking on various engagements away from the firm. The royal couple have major deals with companies including Netflix, Spotify and Apple TV and in July, Harry was making headlines when he revealed he has been working on a memoir. His book is set to be released early next year. Most recently, the pair embarked on their first joint engagement to New York where they attended the Global Live Citizen event to promote the COVID vaccines in the country. However, there is no known date of their return to this side of the pond. They wanted to know if he and Meghan and the two children would be coming over for Christmas, Ms. Levin continued, referring to her conversations with Japanese royal fans. I explained how tricky it would be if they did and explained that Christmas with Her Majesty ran on very firm lines. Meanwhile, a royal historian has claimed to a source, the Queen may not invite Prince Harry for her Platinum Jubilee if his memoir is too incendiary. The Platinum Jubilee will mark Her Majesty's historic milestone and her decades of extraordinary service. During her remarkable reign, the Queen has faced many difficult moments, from her coronation aged just 25 after her father George VI passed away, to the death of Princess Diana. The exit of her grandson, Harry, 37, and his wife Meghan Markle, 40, from the royal family is among the recent royal crises the monarch has had to contend with. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex dramatically announced last January that they would step back as senior royals before they moved to the US. A 12-month review of their positions was then launched and in February of this year the Queen confirmed the couple would not return as working royals. The latest chapter in the Sussex's royal departure came in July as Harry announced he would publish a memoir. The book about his life is to be published next year as his grandmother, the Queen, celebrates her jubilee. And royal historian Dr. Edward Owens has claimed to express.co.uk that Harry's invite to the celebrations is dependent on the content of his memoir. Dr. Owens is a former university lecturer and has written the book, The Family Firm. Monarchy, Mass Media and the British Public, 1932-53 which analyzes the House of Windsor's PR tactics. He claimed, the date of publication becomes even more crucial because if it's released prior to the actual jubilee, if there is incendiary, explosive material contained in the memoir, you almost think that Harry might not even get invited. I imagine Elizabeth will invite them next year to her platinum jubilee, whether Meghan accepts. I imagine if they come for the platinum jubilee. It will be a bit like what happened with Philip's funeral, it will be a brief visit and then off again. Harry flew back to the UK in April without Meghan for his grandfather, Prince Philip's funeral, the first time he had been reunited with his family since moving to the US. Reunited.